Torah time, the weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it. Hi, welcome to Torah time. I'm Rabbi Stephanie Shore. This week's portion is called Vaigash. Now, in order to start this portion, we have to kind of go back a little bit and talk about the end of last week's portion, Miketz. Now in Miketz, we left off with Joseph having the guards chase after his brothers because he had put a goblet in Benjamin's bag in addition to some money. Joseph was so worried about Benjamin. So when the brothers came back, Joseph said, the man who is in possession of the goblet shall be my slave because Joseph wanted to keep Benjamin safe. Judah said to Joseph, please, my Lord, if we don't return to our father with Benjamin, surely he will die of a broken heart. Take me instead of Benjamin, Judah said, and let my brothers go back to their father. Joseph was so overwhelmed with what had transpired that he sent everyone else away. And the only people left in the room were Joseph and his brothers. And Joseph said to them, brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father alive? Well, his brothers were so stunned. They couldn't even believe it was Joseph standing before them. And Joseph said, come closer to me. And they came closer to Joseph. And Joseph said, I am your brother, Joseph, the one whom you sold into Egypt. I'm a really important guy in Egypt, and I want you to go get my father. I'll provide for you in the land of Goshen, because there are still more years of famine. Well, Joseph hugged his brother, Benjamin, and then all the brothers embraced, and they held each other, and they even weeped tears together. Well, Pharaoh heard what was going on, and so did other people in the palace. And Pharaoh ordered that provisions and donkeys and wagons, that they may make a journey back in safety and bring back the whole mishpocha, the whole family. He gave them changes of clothes, but to Benjamin, he gave extra clothes and he gave 300 pieces of silver. Well, the brothers get back to their father, Jacob, who's named Israel, and he says, I will go to see Joseph before I die. Well, Israel and the entire family set out for Beersheba. And remember, Beersheba is a sacred place because Isaac, Jacob's father, built an altar in Beersheba when God spoke to him. And also, This is where Jacob had his special dream of the angels going up and down the ladder. So it was a really special place. And Israel made sacrifices there on his way to Egypt. Well, the entire family gets to Goshen and Joseph goes out to meet them. And when Israel sees his son, Joseph, they have the most wonderful embrace And Israel is so grateful and so happy to see Joseph. There are so many wonderful lessons in this portion. One of them I want to talk about is when seemingly bad things happen, we don't always know what the long-term outcome will be. In Joseph's case, he was sold by his brothers He got thrown into prison, but yet he became a great leader and in time was able to save his brothers in a time of need. I think this might be where the term silver lining comes into play. Typically, there always seems to be something good that comes out of something bad could be a lesson learned, or it could be some other benefit. 
Can you think of something in your life that happened to you or maybe someone you loved and that bad thing produced a good outcome in the long term? Maybe you had to move away from a place where you had so many friends, but then when you moved to the new place, after a while, you had even more friends. Or maybe you lost something, a toy or a game or something that you really, really loved. And then in the long run, you got something even better. Think about times that something that seemed so horrible happened to you. And then ultimately it led to something even greater happening. That was a wonderful, wonderful blessing. This is a great lesson we can learn from this portion. And it never ceases to amaze me how Torah, this ancient script, this ancient manuscript, still gives us beautiful gifts today. Well, that's our Torah time for today. Thanks for stopping by. Shalom. Torah time, the weekly portion. What's it all about? It really means something. What can it teach me? Turn it, turn it. Everything's in it.